Uh, joined us earlier today with a legislative update. Some great news, by the way, coming out of uh, the state of Indiana. Take a listen. Ashley Varner, NRA ILA's Indiana State Liaison, is with us this evening. And Ashley, thanks for joining us. Absolutely, Cam. Always good to talk with you. Uh, well, it's good to talk with you. And uh, now that the legislatures are uh, kicking off and back in session, I know we'll be talking more frequently. Uh, you're in Indianapolis tonight, and we've seen a number of good bills for gun owners in the uh, state of Indiana start moving forward. That's right. We had a very good day yesterday in a Senate committee hearing for the uh, Criminal and Civil Matters Committee. That's not the full name of it, but um, it, it was headed by Senator Brent Steele. He is the chairman. Uh, we have a very good committee there, a lot of good pro-gun, uh, pro-NRA guys, firearm freedom believers, and they did pass out of committee yesterday four separate good gun bills. And, you know, we're just so excited, and we would like for the membership to if they can, drop an email and thank the members of that committee. But then also, let's start emailing and calling our state senators because they're going to be getting ready to hear this on the Senate floor soon. Okay. Now, there's one bill in, in particular I, uh, I wanted to talk with you about, and this is the parking lot 2.0 bill. Uh, was it, it was it last year that uh, Indiana passed the original parking lot legislation? Yes. Yes, they did. They passed and enacted it into law. It went into effect July 1st of 2010, and, um, you know, none of the business cries and, and wails uh, have come true. None of their predictions, as we see um, anti-gun organizations make all kinds of predictions. Well, they're wrong every time they do that. So we have seen the falsehoods of their claims and predictions uh, but we've also unfortunately seen a number of businesses in Indiana, both large and small, coming up with some very onerous and actually really offensive policies that they are forcing their employees to comply with if they want to be able to exercise their rights as newly enacted in state law, which is to lock a personal firearm in their private vehicle while they are at work. Yeah. So. We've, we've got these policies, you know, the employers are saying that the employees must register their firearms with the corporation. They must give their employer the serial numbers of their firearms. What? They must allow the employer to inspect all of their firearms and ammunition that may be stored in the car. And even some of them say, you have to state exactly where the firearm is going to be stored in your car. Wow. It's just invasion of privacy to the nth degree here, and it's very offensive that we are um, allowing these corporations to get away with just thumbing their nose at the law. So that's what Parking Lot 2.0 is all about. We want to come in here, and we're saying, look, we, we tried to work in good faith with the business community, and unfortunately this just isn't working out. So we need to, to come up with a, a better arrangement to protect the employees the way the General Assembly intended. So what would this what would this do? Would this give greater protection to the employees then? Yes, essentially what, what the bill is stating is that it, it's really none of the employer's business what kind of firearm an employee has that they lawfully use in their off work hours. So we don't want the employer to be able to even ask if you have firearms or if you plan to transport firearms in your vehicle, it's none of their business. Yeah. And, you know, we really believe that the Second Amendment should be given the same kind of non-discrimination protections as the First Amendment. You don't have employers asking their employees what kind of religion they practice on the weekends or in the evenings after work, and they mm -hmm. shouldn't be able to ask their employees what kind of firearm activities they participate in when they're not on the clock. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Ashley, again, I'm so glad you could join us tonight. Uh, keep us updated on these bills, and uh, absolutely, Indiana gun owners need to be contacting their state senators now. That's a good plan. We'd like to have the senators hear from all of our NRA members, and let's just see how far we can get this going. All right. It looks good so far. Ashley, thanks again. We'll talk to you soon.